Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video, and today we are digging into the newest set that has come out, Lost Origin. I found these booster bundles at uh, my local trading card game shop for $25 a pop. At, with six boosters, that makes it to be about $4, four dollars for four fifty Canadian a pack, which I thought was an excellent deal for these. Um, but this is the most recent set, um, and I wanted to to dig into some newer stuff versus doing some older stuff for this video, um, just to get some newer content out there rather than digging back into you know Pokemon Go, which is very much still a good card set I think, and there's lots to get in it. But I've been itching to see what I could p possibly pull from this card set specifically um just because i know there are some big hard hitting cards in there the alt arts um there's some what are they called trainer gallery which are the gold and black versions or whatever i'll have some of them pop up on screen um but there's a lot of chase cards in this set and they look pretty cool and i really just wanted to dig into and see what we can get in here so we've got 12 boosters i'm going to re-angle this i don't know why i don't set it up at a good angle to begin with and I give you guys like motion sickness instead but there we go that's a little bit of a better angle so that I can show you guys the cards and also open it up without having an issue um no I don't think I grabbed my scissors one second I um I didn't have them nearby of course not I have been trying to tidy things up so that I have more room to record and then I put things that I need away. Ugh. So we're gonna open up both of these booster bundles, get the plastic off, get digging into them. Have you guys, oh geez, <sighs> I'm gonna end up stabbing myself. Have you guys opened up any of the new Lost Origin set or did you open up any of the Japanese versions of them? Oh, that's kind of neat. They're little, they're little sleeves. Oh, there's Giratina. Ugh. All right, let's take a look. And then you just open it up and you've got your six packs. Pop. Pop goes the package. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve packages. We've got twelve packages. We are going to dig right on into them and see what we can get. Now, I know, like I said, I know some of the chase cards in it, but I haven't. I've tried not to, I should say. I've tried not to spoil too, too much for myself. Um... Because I like, I like to be surprised with the, the art in these. So we're going to go a little bit slower, like I usually do when it's a newer set. A Palm, a Rosalia, a Gumi, the V-Star Marker. I really don't like those V-Star Markers. They're such a waste, I think, in here. I mean, not that the, not that the energies were any better. That is a really nice looking Seedra card. Our reverse is a Poliwhirl, which is just an uncommon. And our first rare is a Mad Cargo non-holographic. Um, we'll do one stack and then the other, I guess. So we'll open from one pack versus the other. I know sometimes I like to do little, eh, which side do you think is going to have the better pulls? But I don't think we need to do that with, with this set specifically. But it's kind of neat to see if, you know, how, how many chances you have of getting good cards, good pulls in it. Um... Is it worth it to get these or is it worth to get booster boxes? I think it's always worth it more to get booster boxes, but it's neat. And for those of us that don't have, you know, 140, 200 bucks to drop on a booster box every time, it's neat to see what you can get in some of the smaller set, um, smaller options for purchasing. Um, our reverse is a ducklet and our rare in this one is, wow, look at that, a Del Fox V full art, I do believe card. That is a gorgeous card. Not sure how much it's worth or if the card prices have started to um, started to mellow out from when it when the cards were first released or when the sets first released because it's been out for I want to say a couple weeks but I'm not sure if that's official I would have to look up and see what the official release date was for it because uh, I know people have been opening them up for a while uh, Tynemo Litlio Mianfu I think we're halfway through now the first. First one, Lost Vacuum, a Cascoon, Ambipom, a Litleo, Reverse, and our rare in this one is a Mimikyu. I've always liked Mimikyu. Mimikyu's adorable. Um, ow! Speaking of Mimikyu, it reminded me of Halloween because that's coming up in, you know, just over a month. And I'm still, still trying to find the Halloween Pokemon card set at Walmart. I think... 
I honestly either think that they're not being released in Canada or, as usual, US gets everything early and Canada is just lagging behind as per usual. Oh my goodness, that is an adorable little Pikachu card. Oh, so cute. A little litwick. Um, but yeah, haven't been able to find the Halloween cards yet. And I do really want to open those up at some point or other. Lady Trainer and our hollow or our rare in this one is just a dust ox. Wishful thinking on my behalf that it would be hollow. So so far we've only pulled one one we've only had one pull and we haven't even gotten a single holographic from this first side or first box, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we did pull that one V card, Phantom, Makuhita, Electric, Leaf Energy, Lake, uh, Nuzleaf, Gift Energy, Gastrodune, and that is a regular and a Landorus. So time to see if we can get one. That is, oh, I love the artwork. Love, love, love the artwork. Um, let's see if we can get something in this last pack on the one side. Or will it be just one rare? Oh, Inkay. Assuming Basklin. Jinx. Makuhita. I like cute little Snover. Steel Energy. Electric. Swana. A Gloom. Oh, and here we go. A Trainer Gallery Spirit Tomb card. That is so pretty. I love these... These trainer gallery cards are super, super gorgeous. I'll just leave that in a second. And a bayonet is our rare. So, on that first side, I guess, if we were to be doing... It's a little off-cut, though. Off-center. Left to right. But, um, if we were to be doing a left versus right side, we've gotten... This is what we've pulled so far. Del Fox V and Spirit Tomb Trainer Gallery. Now to see if we can get anything else in this. Oh, and guys, let me know, did I manage to fix the quality-wise? If you were watching on, like, a bigger screen or a TV or something, or trying to watch in higher quality, did I fix it when I, uh, when I adjusted my, my phone camera? I think I have. I've been trying to keep an eye open on it, but, uh, you know, I miss things sometimes, and I don't always have the time to double-check. Oh, there we go. Air first hollow in this opening. All right, on to the next one, and you can... See the garbage piling up on the side a little bit. It's the only thing is I don't have a ton of space to open these cards up. Um, and I just end up making giant messes around everywhere. The table is a mess. A horsey. Mawile. Dark energy. Hariyama. Arc phone. A Medicham. And we have another trainer gallery, a Snorlax, pigging out over there. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. And a Cramorant, non-hollow. It's kind of nice, though. I, I've got to say, I don't think we've doubled up on a single single rare yet. And we've gotten two, two trainer galleries so far. But yeah, not a single duplicate rare. That's, that's always nice. But I would like to see at least... One more ultra rare if we can, and maybe one of the chase cards. Oh, we've got our second V Star marker in the opening. Finion, Hisuian Zura. That is so cute. So cute. Paris, Inke. Whoops. Just get rid of the basculine. We'll just throw them over there. V Star marker, a Machoke. Do you guys keep your V Star markers at, at all or anything, or do you just get rid of them like I do? Uh, Galarian Stunfisk. I can't believe they made that into a variety er, version like stung fist of all and a boofland although that's actually kind of neat i didn't notice the uh on the is it on all the rares i think where it's got this like wispy thing tell me is that something new i is that on all the rares i think from what i can see of the piles in front of me it looks like it's on the rares which is very neat i think different. I don't know if it's something that they've been doing recently or if it's just for this set or whatever. I'm not sure. Uh, second to last pack, we have a Soda Widow, an Electric, Love Disc, Gligar, Leaf Energy, Colvis Experiment, uh, Kamala, Toolbox. <gasps> Ooh, and our first Radiant. I wasn't, I forgot about the Radiant. Radiant Husuyan Sneasler. Woo! That is such a pretty card. We will see that in a second. And <laughs> well then, we got a double hitter pack. We got a Delphox 
V card. So this would be the variety to the full art that we got, I think. And I'm just going to grab another sleeve here for this beautiful Radiant card. Not one of my favorite Pokemon, but that is a really neat looking Radiant card. I like the... I like the pattern that they have on the Radiance now. So that was, I guess you'd call that a perfect pack. An ultra rare and something in the reverse holo slot. So we're on to the second last pack. And let us see if I can get this done before my daughter wakes up. Yeah, she is sleeping currently upstairs. That, I wrecked that pack. Um, she's having her, her, her afternoon nap. So I'm hoping that she stays asleep probably for another 5-10 minutes. Ducklet, hey Porygon. Blip Bug, Lightning Energy, Poliwhirl, Luminion, that's a really pretty picture, Wind of Arm, a Hariyama, which is just an uncommon and rare, and this one is another Mimikyu, our first duplicate holograph, or rare, and from the looks of it, there wasn't the swirly thing on it, so my, my old theory is kind of out the window. I wonder why some of them have the swirl. Oh my goodness. Last pack, guys, can we finish it off with an Ultra Rare? Can we pull ahead? Well, I guess the second, if we were doing left versus right side, looks like the right side had better stuff in it. We have a cute rock rough, a seal, a shuffet, a machop, the cute Pikachu, a fighting energy, Survivor, that is a unique art style. I love it. A glaring Stumpfisk, a bronze on, a reverse is an Iscan, and our final rare in this opening is a Hoopa non holographic. Alrighty, guys, so it looks like we got some pretty nice pulls. Um, I don't know the value of all these cards, so we're just going to go through what we did pull, um, and you will have seen the values at least at this point in time. I know this set's pretty new, so card values could and probably will fluctuate so we got two trainer gallery cards we got the nice eating snorlax and we got the cool spirit tomb um we did get the delphox v card um just the regular one i these ribbons oh i wonder what they're for it's really cool we ended up pulling one radiant card the radiant hisuian sneezer which is a really really nice card and i always 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 Love the Radiant cards with that diamond effect. So cool. And I think the best card out of this, or at least the coolest one, is this Delphox V Full Art that we pulled out of the first half of the opening. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this Lost Origin opening. I really hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of the new cards in the new set. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will be opening up some more Pokemon Go cards very, very soon, because I have a pile of stuff to dig through, and I love it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!